While the rail scene in Tauranga can be boring, especially with the DLs hauling every train, the ECMT is at least a busy line. This is because it serves the port of Tauranga, the largest export port in New Zealand. Over the past nine days, I caught a sizable amount of Kiwi Rail services in the city, including ten brand new DL class locomotives shortly after their arrival. This brings the total number of DLs to 73. Make of that what you will. Feel free to skip to the timestamps on screen if you just want to see footage of the new locomotives. On Thursday, March 23, I was at the Beretta Road crossing to catch train 334 to Hamilton, but I also got DL 9193 bringing in 390 from Palmerston North. Three days later, I was at the Otumoitai station site to see the DL class leader on 334. This is a rather annoying spot for filming trains because of the excessive shrubbery around the fence, especially by the old cattle loading bank. The next day, I heard that the new DLs had arrived in Mount Maunganui on the ship from China, so I thought I'd pop round to have a quick butcher's. For clarification, I did not trespass in order to get this footage. Instead, I was at a publicly accessible vantage point along Nico Crescent.
Afterwards, we saw DL 9354 bringing in train 483 from Kinleith. Then on Thursday, March 30, I was coming home from the New World at Brookfield when I decided to catch MP3 at Beretta Road. This time I did not have the proper camera with me. On March 31, I was at the Rose Gardens to meet an old mate from primary school, and at one point DL 9636 showed up out of nowhere with a late running train 491. We will now have a short break from all the rail fanning, in the form of a quick look through the hothouse, which just felt like a huge greenhouse to me. The electric variants of the Enviro 200 MMC will be relevant later on. On Saturday, April 1, I went back to Beretta Road to catch DL 9008 again. This time, she and 9319 were bringing in MP7 from Auckland.
Later that evening, I went out walking again. Even though I felt like a fool in the rain, I still went to Maxwell's Road to try and catch the extra train C-36, initially and mistakenly thinking this was the DL convoy. Sunday April 2 was the big day, as it were, as this was when the new DLs were dragged over to Hamilton as train C-20. It would have been funny if 9008, or any of the original six, was hauling this lot, but instead they used 9671 from the 2018 batch. The DLs passed 9106 shared the last two digits of their numbers with the much older DC class. For example, here's DL 9671 and DC 4571. Another example is DL 9711 and DC 4611. I suppose one of those new DLs may as well be called the convenience store locomotive, hence DL 9711. The convoy made a few stops on its journey to Hamilton, presumably to check the condition of the newcomers. And because this was their first run, outside of being shunted around at Mount Maunganui, there were severe speed restrictions for the entire journey. For starters, they couldn't go past 20 kilometers an hour around the Dodgy Horseshoe, which is the nickname I've got for the section from Dive Crescent to Mount Maunganui, because it looks like a dodgy horseshoe on a map. I also saw DL9659 and DH2851 waiting to leave Sulphur Point, but I couldn't stick around to watch them leave as the convoy took priority.
Meanwhile, Mum was driving past the Goldfields Railway on her way back from Auckland, and caught their green Baggerly Drury locomotive hauling the 145 Waihi to Waikino service. Later in the afternoon, I went back to the Strand to film train 334S and ended up riding on an Enviro 200 MMC for the trip. There are only five of these things running in Tauranga, but I don't know how many diesel Enviro 200s we've got, but they are certainly a lot more common than the electrics.